Hey guys, it's me now. So today I'm gonna talk about the book of Ruth. So to so most people, she's just like some foreign lady, um, like in the Bible and stuff. But hey, there's a lot of foreign people in the Bible, right? There's King Darius and a bunch of other kingdoms. For example, like if you turn to the book of the Bible, she's a very important person because well, she's like one of the ancestors of Jesus and King David, and she's mentioned in Matthew one in the genealogy of Jesus. So. We don't really know who wrote the book, but there is some background knowledge because at the very end of Ruth, it tells that she is one of the ancestors of David, great King David. So it's after David become king, after he had become king. So let's just say around 10, like this is 10,000, like I guess 50 BC around that time. So she's like this Moabite living in Israel. So like her mother-in-law Naomi, all the men in the family have died, so then they moved back to Israel, right? But Ruth's a Moabite, right? So she doesn't exactly fit in with the dudes. And Naomi's at least I don't know sixty. And if ancient Israel had a senior citizen card, she'd be buying a lot of groceries. But unfortunately, they didn't back then, so they had to do something called gleaning. Gleaning is basically when you walk into someone's field, right? So let's just say, I this dude's Tom. Okay. And that, look, look, like, I'm some poor beggar, right? Oh, hey, Tom, can I borrow some of your grain? He's like, sure. And then, so, like, after some, like, a harvester cuts it, like, once, right? You only grab what's in your hand. You leave the, the, um, some, the stuff on the side or the part that fell. You can't pick it up again for the poor. So you go, and then you take it. And then the poor people come in. And then they take the grain that's here. And they walk away with it, right? But it's in... Like Deuteronomy, Leviticus, Numbers, and Exodus. It's all of that stuff God gave Moses, right? Well, it's part of the laws, and it's really important because make sure the poor people don't starve, right? And then, like, like some dude just comes in, like some named Boaz. Okay, well he's not some dude. So he's one of Naomi's relatives, right? So Ruth comes in, and walks into his field, and starts gleaning. Or taking the leftover grain, and then she, then Boaz shows kindness to her, and then a bunch of time later, they eventually get married, make Obed, or yeah, and then Ruth gets pregnant, and then she has a son now named Obed, which became the father of Jesse, which is the father of King David. So yeah, that's basically full summary. So if you guys like this video, give a thumbs up, subscribe, ring that bell below. Bye.